What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Red River Aviation. Hope you guys are on a fantastic day today. And today we have the May 2020 Dallas Fort Worth International Airport update for you guys. Hope you guys are excited for today's video. If you guys are, make sure to leave a like and subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you guys never miss out on any new airport updates to come. Uh, very exciting Dallas update here today. The pandemic slowly but surely, we're starting to get a lot of flights back, uh, mainly for American. The other airlines of Concourse E, Slowly but surely, we're working our way up. So we do have a lot to cover today, so I'm gonna jump right into it. I do wanna make one note about subscriber routes real quick. If you want to have a subscriber route, I decided to go with the new system, so you can submit it. Uh, there's a Google form in the description where you can submit the routes. Please keep them realistic. I have a lot of submissions that work to fictional airports. I'm only taking real life airports for subscriber routes to all my real life airports, so Please make it realistic, but other than that, we better get into the updates since we have like 100 planes to cover, so hope you guys are excited and let's get into it. Beginning right here, pulling off a runway, uh, it uh, landed on 18 right. We have an American Airlines Boeing 737-800 in the chrome livery. There she goes. Uh, just landed in from Tampa, and he's going to be heading out to Bosman. Scooting right along, we have an American Eagle ERJ-145. Uh, he's, he's taxiing in from Waco, and we'll be heading out to Tyler. Uh, right here we have an American Airlines Airbus E319 with fence winglets. I do have four of these now, so one of them is new, so let's just say this one is the new one. Uh, arrived in from, there's a lot of new routes for the 319, so we'll say Midland, gonna be heading out to Memphis. Uh, scooting along to Concourse E. Here we have an American Eagle Bombardier Ace here, day-700. Arrived in from Louis, Louisville, and is gonna head out to, uh, ah, we'll just, mm. Don't have any great routes for this aircraft. I, you know, I'm never really good when it comes to the CRJ 700 because we don't have a ton of them, but uh, we'll just say he's gonna be heading back out to um, Louisville, I suppose. Right here, uh, we got a Spirit, it was E320. Uh, he just arrived in from, I believe we have one subscriber route for the 320. I'm going to check, I wanna apologize for my, um, I don't memorize the subscriber routes, so I do wanna check real quick just so I don't miss any. Um, Okay, I do not see any for the 320. Uh, arrived in from, we'll say Indianapolis, gonna be heading out to Las Vegas. We are getting Spirit flights, but not as many as we had. Right here we have the Aero Classic Spirit Airbus E321. Uh, loading up, heading out to Los Angeles, arrived in from Orlando. Scooting along, we have Frontier Airbus E320, Colorado the Bighorn Sheep, gonna be heading out to uh, Denver, and he arrived in from Denver earlier. We do have quite a few new models in this update, including this one, what a beauty she is. Let me see if I can get a good angle here. Delta Airlines Airbus E321, thank you livery. I believe this already sold out everywhere, so pretty crazy, uh, went very fast. Uh, pretty limited quantity for this model. Glad to get mine early. Arrived in from Atlanta, they're gonna be heading back out to Atlanta. Uh, Delta's mainly doing uh, just CS100s. We get a couple A319s and uh, I think one A319, one A321, and then three or four CS100s. Not many flights, I believe they cut like Salt Lake City and a couple of them are temporarily suspended. Right here we have a Spirit, or, or sorry, Delta Airlines Airbus A319 uh, by Aero Classics. Uh, loading up, gonna be heading out to Los Angeles, so arriving from Atlanta. Those are one of the, uh, or those are some 319 routes we have. I think we have a 321, 319, and CS100 to Atlanta. Could be wrong, but not too many flights. Right here we have an American Airlines Airbus E321, arrived in from New York, Gloria. Gonna be heading out to uh, Los, An we'll go with uh, San Diego from one up. Pretty quiet over here at the uh, uh, E Satellite. But we do have one aircraft, the American Eagle Ember ERJ 140. Gonna be heading out to, arrived in from Stillwater, gonna head out to uh, Lawton, Oklahoma. New model as well. Um, we all know the story on this one. They get them broken. I have super glued them, so they are ready to go. Right here we have the American Airlines Airbus A320. Uh, this is the IAE variant. Uh, I have been on this aircraft, November 651 Alpha Whiskey. If you wanna check out the trip report, you're welcome to. Anyways, uh, he's gonna head out. He arrived in from Rog Ronald Reagan. Why not? Uh, it makes sense since I flew on that flight. Arriving in from uh, Ronald Reagan, <laughs> excuse me. Arriving in from Reagan's gonna head out to, uh, we'll go with Tucson. We're not getting too many 320s, but we get a ton of 319s, both Sharklet and fence uh, winglet configurations. Pushing back, focus. There we go. We have a Delta Airlines CS100. Um, he's gonna he's pushing back service up to uh, Detroit or Detroit Aviation's airport. Uh, Riding in from Minneapolis or Gemini Jets 2001's airport. Let's see here if I can get back around. Another new model, a beauty. Uh, the review on this came out yesterday. If you wish to go check it out, 
We have the Alaska Airlines Boeing 737-900ER, more to love livery. Love it, glad to have an accurate 737-900ER. They're uh, last year's doing this weird thing, they're doing it in Albuquerque and Dallas. Uh, the aircraft come in from Seattle, and then they go out to, uh, for Albuquerque, I believe it was San Antonio, and for here, they go out to Houston and then come back. So, I know they're doing this also, uh, who did the update? Uh, oh, Aviation 18. He did the update uh, where he had his, um, he couldn't figure out what was going on with Alaska. I know Gemini Dust 2000 explained it to him. I can't tell you exactly what it is, but it must be some sort of ferry or something. Arrived in from Seattle and is going to head out to Houston. Uh, the Seattle and Houston flights are one daily. Right here we have United Airlines or E319, the baby bus. United's also cut a ton of their operations, uh, just some limited uh, ERJs and a couple main lines. Arrived in from Chicago is going to be heading back out to Chicago. We have an Ember ERJ uh, 2175. Don't think I've ever got to put these side by side, but uh, ad adequate time to do so. Air Canada is also um, couldn't find them on the radar. Uh, the back one and new livery is going to head out to uh, Houston. Arrived in from uh, we'll say Dulles, and the front one arrived in from uh, mm, I think they did San Francisco, so we'll say San Francisco. Going to head back out to San Francisco. Let's see here. Where can I uh, move over to? We'll get over here real quick. Sorry guys, the camera's not cooperating. Hangar's uh, pretty empty. Uh, we have an American 737 getting towed out. He's gonna head out to Oklahoma City later. These two are also about to come out, so. Uh, yeah, I just decided to um, kind of unground them after I just grounded them since uh, this is kind of what it would be to, to scale for as many models as I have. About two uh, 737s grounded would be about right. Right here in the hangar, we have an American Airlines 777 300 It's gonna head out to, uh, they're starting to send these to some different places, so we'll save Madrid for him. And we have a 777-200ER, one world, he's still grounded. We've got a couple over here on the 17 rights. Right here, just landed, we have an American Airlines Service E321 arrived in from Charlotte. Gonna head out to Seattle or SeaTac AV, or let me read this off, I know. SeaTac Aviation's Airport. I'm not sure if it was a fence or a starlet. Uh, was not stated, so we'll say just or fence movement. Delta Airlines 737-800 arrived in from Salt Lake City. I know I just said that this route's been temporarily suspended, but you know what, I just decided to throw it in. Uh, kind of to get a couple more aircraft since I don't have more CS 100s, which I need to get my hands on more of those. So I'll be doing that soon, along with some other aircraft. Uh, taking it off, or yes, taking it off, we have an American Airlines Service E-221 standing up to cancer, about to rotate, service up to, uh, we'll go with San Antonio for him, arrived in from Austin, what a beautiful livery. Just landed here. We have the United Airlines 320 uh, Aero Classics. Uh, I just landed in from Denver. It's going to make the return flight. And here we have a FedEx Airlines 757 200. Uh, just arrived in from. I know I saw these different places. Oh, Ford Alliance. I don't know why Ford Alliance, but Ford Alliance was on there for a 75. Uh, he's going to make his way, I want to say that, like Indianapolis or somewhere. So we'll say Indianapolis. Uh, we already wrapped up all of that. So we will. Uh, yeah, we'll get to the internationals because there's quite a few awesome aircraft at the internationals. Uh, I do want to apologize this update may seem a little out of context. Um, trying to get this done because I'm going to be going to the airport tomorrow and I'm very excited. I haven't got to go in about two months, so it's going to be exciting. We'll be doing a spotting vlog for that, but we have an update, not a RAM session. Um, <clears throat> sorry. Here we have an American Airlines Boeing 77-8. Quite a few international routes have resumed. Uh, we're gonna say something from Beijing. If some of them, if I'm wrong on some of them, I apologize. Driving in from Beijing, he's gonna be heading out to Paris. I think they have on 78. Uh, we got a little scene double here with the Sun Country. So excited to get that one in the back. But here's the NG Blue livery, or the second to latest, I should say. Uh, arriving in from Las Vegas, gonna be heading out to Minneapolis. And we'll start with turn, Concourse D. Wow. Right here we have a Sun Country Boeing 737-800 Tide Pod 1 by NG Models. What a beauty she is. If you guys missed the mass unboxing, definitely go check it out. Uh, it's pushing back, gonna be heading out to uh, Minneapolis, arrived in from, uh, or sorry, it's gonna be heading out to Las Vegas, arrived in from Minneapolis. It's kind of the turnaround since we're doing it right now. Not, but happy to say that Qatar has returned to Dallas. They are the only international, the international airline I could find, and Japan has as well, but don't have that model right yet. Here are the Qatar Airlines Airbus E350-1000 in the beautiful One World paint scheme. What a beautiful model this is by Phoenix. Sorry about the super glue on the landing gear there. I did a very bad job super gluing this back, but it's still an awesome model. Heading out to Doha today. Arrived in from Doha earlier. Getting some bags on board, catering done. I uh, did get 3D printed things in the uh, 
uh, mask from boxing, so I decided just to throw them on over here. Uh, they're kind of different, so I'm not sure what they're representing. But here we have British Airways Boeing 777 that's 300ER heading back out to uh, London Heathrow. I think they were using 222s. I didn't see any on the thing on um, Flight Radar 24, so yeah, but I, I'm sure they're doing some weekly stuff, so. Right here, uh, loading up, we have American Airlines Boeing 77-9, gonna be heading out to, uh, need to get better with these international routes. Oh, we'll say Tokyo, Narita, gonna be heading out, or arrived in from, uh, actually a lot of these have been coming in from Tulsa, uh, uh, getting ungrounded and finally going back to you. So we'll say arrived in from Tulsa, flying his first international flight out to Tokyo. Right here we have American Airlines Boeing 777-300ER, gonna be heading out to Hong Kong, arrived in from a London Heathrow. At the grand height as well. Uh, nice little lineup right there. We have Airlines Boeing 737-800 TWA retro paint scheme. Going to be heading out to um, West Palm Beach. Arrived in from uh, there's a lot of 737 routes I want to say right now, but we're going to go with um, El Paso. Got a really good lineup here of models. Uh, quite a few awesome ones. We'll start here in the front. We have American Airlines Boeing 737-800. Uh, Nikki G submitted a ton of routes um, for airports on 737. So we're gonna say you arrived in from Jacksonville, gonna be heading out to Fort Myers. Uh, right there we got an NG American Airlines or it's E321, getting some bags on board, gonna be heading out to uh, now I'm getting a lot of 321s and I need to get better with the routes. Um, we'll say Portland and he um, he uh, came in from sorry guys I <laughs> If you can't tell, I'm still not very good with these routes. Um, JFK. Right there we have the One World 737-800. Uh, it's gonna be heading out to um, Colorado Springs or Jim Jets Fans Airport. Arrived in from uh, Las Vegas. New model, Custom American Airlines Airports A320. That's a correct A320, I really like that one. Very nice model. Uh, very nice custom, that is. Uh, arrived in from um, Maybe a little off, but we'll say Phoenix is gonna be heading out to Philadelphia. Got a American Airlines of C321 back there as well. Uh, sorry, but the the um, angle it's at is making it very reflective. Uh, heading out to um, San Francisco, arrived in from Orlando. Uh, there in the back, we'll skip that one. A little 320 double. Man, that color's so bad on that one. American, this one that is, that one's perfect. This one's pretty bad. American Airlines Airways E321, uh, Gemini Jets, older, or the older Gemini Jets uh, release. He's uh, arriving in from, man, I had to nail all these 321s. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, guys. This is pretty embarrassing that I don't know any of these routes. Thinking around the globe right now, we'll just say San Francisco is going to head out to uh, Charlotte. They are doing a couple of those to Charlotte. Um, right there, we got a 77 that should eat. Yes. Uh, heading out to, arriving from Honolulu, gonna be heading up to uh, Chicago O'Hare. Got an empty gate where an American Airlines Airbus E321. Hopefully, oh, this is the final one. <laughs> We've nailed like all five of them already. Uh, arriving in from, and I'm sorry guys, we'll just say Las Vegas for him too. Gonna uh, head off to Albuquerque, a little substitution. We got a CFM 320 right there. Uh, it's gonna, man, I got a lot of 320s now. I need to get accustomed to that. So I'm gonna start sending these to some of the 319 destinations. Arriving from Cleveland, gonna head out to uh, Columbus. Got 319 right there. Uh, it's gonna head out to Savannah, Georgia. Arrived in from Oklahoma City. Got 319 with Charlotte's. Arrived in from Tulsa, gonna head out to Kansas City. Uh, oh, that's already it for that route. Man, we're kind of marching through this. I, there's still quite a few planes, but I mean, I'm not really elaborating on everything as I used to. It's kind of a new style because these videos being long, I know it's kind of hard. We have a really cool lineup right here, though. Back in the back, we have an American Airlines. Uh, well, you know what, we'll get that. Uh, we actually have a Spirit right here. We have a Spirit of E319 heading out to uh, Tampa or uh, TPA Aviations Airport, arrived in from Philadelphia. Right there, we have another CFM320. I'm uh, gonna be heading out to Charlotte, arrived in from uh, Washington Dulles, just change it up. Have a triple two, um, tri American Airlines going triple something, that's 200. Kind of forgetting to say all the names with how many we got here. I'm uh, gonna be heading out to Cajo Louis, arrived in from Miami. We have an American Airlines Airbus E318. Gonna be heading out to um, uh, 
dang it, I finally started to stall on 319 routes even though I looked over them. Um, let me see if my little, um, for my, um, my paper here has any uh, good destinations. Uh, Madison, I think, is one uh, arrived in from, oh, yeah, um, uh, Santa Barbara or uh, B767 Aviations Airport. Um, that's not the uh, Gemini one, but it will do. It's pretty much the same thing. I have another Aero Classics American Airlines Airbus A through 21. Uh, it's going to be heading out to, um, I promise guys I'll get better with the routes. San Antonio for him as well arrived in from uh, Chicago over here. You got the American Airlines Boeing 737-800 and Reno Air paint scheme. Uh, it's going to be heading out to um, uh, San Diego arrived in from uh, Ontario. And then pushing back, we have American or yeah, American Airlines Airbus E319 Allegheny Retro Paint Scheme. Uh, we'll send him off to uh, Detroit. Arrived in from uh, dang it, I should have uh, Grand Rapids. That's probably 738, but hey, it, it's okay. Got another American Airlines 737 800 heading up to Norfolk or Riley Aviation Travel or Riley Trucking Aviation. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting your name. I didn't write down your full name. Uh, YouTube name. Um, and then, uh, tell obviously did not want to cooperate. Uh, there we go. Uh, he's going to head off to, um, Des Moines. If I can fix the gate. There we go. Heading off to Des Moines. We got an a American Airlines. It was each 21 Neil arrived in from Phoenix. These are starting to fly into Dallas more with the, um, very unfortunate 757 retirement. I'll talk about more retirements here at the end. Uh, 757 or yeah. Uh, it's gonna head out to uh, Philadelphia as one of our new Neo flights. That's very nice. Got the American Airlines Airbus E318 here, heading off to um, let's see here. Uh, Pensacola arrived in from. That's probably a little inaccurate. But Pensacola gonna head off to um, Jackson Hole. I think that's a 319. Sometimes it has to be. It's on main line. That's what it would be. Got another 319 with Sharklets here. Uh, pushing back service off to. Um, Oh boy, uh, we already said Memphis. Oh, Nashville, probably more through. That's where my 321 scrolls were at. They've been sending those to Nashville. Heading off to Nashville, arrived in from uh, uh, Wichita. Uh, progressing through Turnable B and A, we have a Ember ERJ 175 heading out to Little Rock, arrived in from uh, West Palm. Or sorry, uh, Destin for Wadden Beach. That's the one I was thinking of. Uh, also threw some gates over here because I'm um, trying to get all the aircrafts with gates. We're very close. We need about two more packs or so. Got a CRJ-700. Uh, it's going to fly off today to um, Houston Hobby. Arrived in from uh, Rapid City. Got an Ember 145 heading up to Champaign. Arrived from, um, I about said Bloomington, but that's a CRJ-900 route. We need CRJ-900 so bad. Uh, Gonna be heading out to um, College Station. Got another ERG 175. I'm sorry about the light, guys. It was not cooperating today. I would have recorded this tomorrow. We actually have a huge stretch of sun coming up uh, for the next two weeks forecasted, which is super exciting. So it's trying to peak though. We have an Emory ERG 175. My, my camera is having a hard time today, if you guys can't tell. E175, uh, it's gonna head off to uh, Northwest Arkansas. Arrived in from Springfield. We got a Republic E170 filling in for an E175. We haven't ever really got these, I don't think. Maybe some ferry flights in the past, but I don't think we've ever had these. Maybe US Airways flew them at some point here. Uh, it's gonna head off to, we'll send them back out that way uh, to, uh, yeah, we'll just send them to Pensacola too, arrived in, or Tallahassee, we'll send them to Tallahassee, arrived in from, uh, what would be realistic out there? Uh, Knoxville, I suppose. Uh, got an E-145 again, uh, heading off to Lafayette, arrived in from, um, do, 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 us, mm, trying to find, oh, Santa Fe, sorry, I'm trying to find these perf ideal routes. Got the Astrojet 737-800, uh, heading off to, um, Kansas City, arrived in from Fresno. Uh, scooting along, we have another couple of 319s here. This one's gonna head off to Charleston, arrived in from uh, Pittsburgh. That's one of the newer 319 flights. Got another 319 with Sharklets here. It's gonna head off to, uh, come on, I need some better flights here. 
I'm sorry guys, I apologize. Um, arrived in from Bogota International and got towed over to Domestica and head off to Lubbock. Got another American Airlines Airbus E320. This is the IAE variant 2020 release. Uh, everybody's favorite. Uh, it's gonna head off to um, Oh, 320, about to send him to Key West. I was gonna say that is not a good flight for him. Omaha, I think Omaha, maybe, I think it's mainly 319s, but we'll send him to Omaha. Arrived in from, I'm sorry guys, this, I have too many 320s. These are all, I got all the 320s from Phoenix. Um, ah. Little substitution for Reno, Tahoe International Airport. We got an American Airlines 77 9. What a beauty she is. Heading out to, uh, arriving from Los Angeles. Los Angeles is going to be heading out to Chicago here. Man, have I really not missed any subscriber routes? Man, I don't think I have. Oh, yeah, well, I'll be able to get that in. Do you want to apologize to Gemini Jets 05? His uh, aircraft is not in today's update, but he did one Delta 717 out to Minneapolis, so we'll just say that that's fictional. Or not fictional, but not in the update. Got an American Airlines 737 that's 800 Air Cal. Currently taxing out, heading out to. Um, uh, I'm not sure if they got the uh, seasonal stuff started yet. Sorry about the camera. Fort. All right. Yeah, we'll go. Fort Myers arrived in from uh, Burbank. Got this 737 uh, These were a couple more subscriber routes. Heading out to Tucson or G Don's Aviation Airport and arrived in from. Uh, where was it? Henry Murray's uh, was our locks. And then here, let me get around for him. Got an American Airlines ERJ 140 uh, heading off to uh, Manhattan. Manhattan, I think, probably gets a couple of these. Uh, they get CRJ 700 mix, I think. Uh, it's gonna head off, or arrived in from Manhattan. It's gonna head off to, uh, this is where I uh, need to get better with routes. Um, mm, want to apologize here, guys. I am very sorry. Uh, we'll just say mobile, even though it's way off. Oh boy, I forgot about some other aircraft that we have here. We got a handful more. Uh, we got the Spirit A319 digital delivery. Gonna be heading off to Phoenix. Arrived in from uh, Seattle. We got the American Airlines Airbus E for 21 Neo. Uh, this one's gonna head off to, I know there's a couple, probably a couple more routes. Maybe Los Angeles, maybe it's now on the board, so we'll just say Los Angeles. Uh, also arrived in from Phoenix. And then uh, we have a couple aircraft over here. I'm gonna save that for the end. I'm gonna talk about why they're all right there. Over here we have a Delta Airlines or E321. Uh, currently uh, taxiing out to runway 18 right. Uh, it's gonna be heading out to Atlanta or Citrus Aviations Airport. And then we have right here an American Airlines 200 ER arrived in from Frankfurt. Uh, I think that's back. It's gonna head off to uh, Tokyo Narita later. Uh, we have some new additions to the cargo. Uh, I did add that right there. And then we also have uh, a couple more new pieces of cargo GSC. I'm gonna use these as mainly luggage or uh, cargo tons, but you may see them as actual luggage loaders like those over there. Right here we have another new model. It's the UPS Boeing 757-200. Now they are flying a lot of these into Dallas right now. So you arrived in from Rockford, uh, Chicago Rockford, gonna head off to, uh, uh, darn it. There was literally like an army of them. I'll put it on the screen. It was absolutely ridiculous. Uh, I think they had Indianapolis, but if not, it's one of those on that was on the screen. Back there we have the UPS 767-300F uh, heading off to, um, Los Angeles is one of the flights, gonna uh, head back to Louisville after that. And then back there we have the Airbus E300F. Uh, it's gonna head off to um, Denver, arrived in from Albuquerque. And then uh, over here, so if you guys are unaware, American Airlines, um, I'm pretty sure they're done with their CRG 200s now. Uh, all of them were in Sky, Sky West house livery. Um, so what I'll do is, this is the official send off for them, the three that I have. So if they, uh, how, do I, how am I trying to word this? If a, a, a CRJ200 does come in here in the house livery, what I'll do is I'll just throw in one of the new livery ones and we'll call it a day. But these are, this is the official send off. Um, they served a pivotal, pivotal, uh, pivotal role. I never knew the routes to them because there's literally none besides two or three here and there. But I uh, did get want to give them a proper send off. Um, so I'm gonna try to kind of, not necessarily start over, but like, 
you know, modernize the actual Dallas uh, replica to what actual aircraft are flying in. So it is time for these to fly back over to the shelf. All right, we have a CRJ-700 back here, arrived in from, uh, probably off, but we'll say Flagstaff, gonna head out to Fort Wayne. And then we have our CRJ-200 lineup. We got the uh, one of the new liveries heading out to Meridian, which is still a current flight, arrived in from Mobile, also still a current flight. Uh, the, these last two, uh, you know what, uh, since they're a send-off flight, uh, this one's gonna head off. I think these are going to other airlines, I'm not sure, but for now, we're just gonna send them off to um, wherever they're storing them. That's literally one Wednesday. So this CRJ-200 is heading off to uh, probably somewhere up north, and this old delivery CRJ-200 is heading somewhere off north. I'm sure that's a record for how quick we've, 25 minutes, not bad at all. I'm pretty happy with that. Since the light is kind of trying here, so let's get a couple of views. Uh, I do want to thank you guys very much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like, uh, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell so you guys never miss out on any new content. Um, lots of exciting videos coming next week, including uh, some reviews. And then we'll have um, Albuquerque. Just I just finished the redone Albuquerque. It looks really good, so I hope you guys are excited for that. And then we'll have um, an, a uh, Saturday. I think it's going to be that Tulsa spotting vlog. We'll see. But... Yeah, lots of awesome stuff coming. If you want to subscribe or out, please go in the comment section and or go in the description. I'm sorry, I'll put in, try to do a pinned comment for it. And I'll have the Google form uh, so you can send your uh, subscriber out. And I don't know how I forgot it, but probably because it's not in one world. Uh, where are you? Some, that's, uh, uh, mm, damn, I'm trying to find Oh yeah, uh, one of those two 737s, is, or that 737 is gonna head out to Aviation 18's, um, Ron Reagan. He changed it up on us. Uh, in that update, it was really cool because our updates came out on the same day for Reagan in Dallas. It was a, uh, about a month ago on the Fridays. He sent a plain one here, and then I had a One World, which I thought was the aircraft that we were doing. But uh, yeah, plane 737 heading out to his uh, Washington Reagan National Airport. But yeah, a lot of exciting stuff to come, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this update. Thank you guys so much for stick. Um, being patient, um, we did have a lot of 821s for Reese uh, as he requested tons of them. And uh, yeah, a lot of exciting stuff coming. A next Dallas update will be even better. I think all the aircraft will hopefully be out and about. I do want to apologize for the lack of aircraft. Um, two main factors. Number one, uh, United and Delta are not flying very much, so I couldn't really throw in all. See, I saw quite a few of those on my shelf. The United and Delta, so I couldn't really throw many of those in, so that was one of the downfalls. And uh, retirement, uh, I do want to give a very huge send off, as we already did, to the 757, 767, E190, A330, 300, potentially the 200 now, and also now our CRJ 200s. It's uh, crazy to think that uh, me and Jim and I did 13, we're actually talking about this. Uh, that the American Airlines fleet is uh, almost um, all American legacy now. Uh, the only thing that's really left of the uh, LUS side is going to be the 330 200s if they make it, and also uh, the 319, 320, 321 uh, fence tip configurations. But yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. There's a lot coming, guys, and I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll stop rambling. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a fantastic day, everybody. If you want to submit, submit a subscriber out, please do so. Uh, link will be in the description. You go through the Google form. Please make it realistic. Leave a comment on what you thought. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of exciting stuff coming next week. We're already in the June. So I want to thank you guys for an amazing May. Awesome month. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Go join Discord. Come talk to me. Hope you guys all have a fantastic day. My name is Red River Aviation. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time as Red River Aviation is signing off.